No, I hold all the power. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I think I hold all the power in my hand. Oh, so so this uh, so Hav's got Hav's I could got count to thirty-one fingers. on my hand. Okay. With fingers up, and like so, like okay, one, two, three, a very offensive four. <laughs> <laughs> and then my hand cramped. Yeah. Okay, so uh, so if Hub's using one hand, he can count up to 31. If he's using two hands, any guesses on how high he could count using two hands? 62. Not quite. Yeah? 63. Oh, a bit, bit more than that. So this if he's be... using six fingers, he can count to 63. He can actually count to 1,023 on two hands. And if we, use, uh, if we use all four of our hands, uh, we can actually get up to 1,048,576. My brain just melted. <laughs> Alright, so uh, you can see how with a small number of bits, you can represent large numbers very quickly. Oh my god. But um, there's, there's something else that, uh, that can be on or off. Uh, has anyone had a birthday uh, this week? <laughs> Mrs. Eddington has had a birthday this Where's week. Where's Mrs. Eddington? Oh, Mrs. Mrs. Eddington! Mrs. Eddington. No. Can we get you to come on down, please? Mrs. Eddington, uh, quite a quite a young looking lady. I'd, I'd say you'd be about 29. Uh, That'd be about right. <laughs> okay, that, well, okay. 30? 30. 30. Fantastic. So we, we only wow. need uh, we, We've got your birthday cake here. Uh, but, but before we can sing happy birthday, uh, we've got to light the candles. But we've only got five candles. Maybe computer science can help us. Maybe computer science can help us. Anyone got any ideas? Yes. So you, so you treat you treat the candles as bits. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So does it, can anyone tell me uh, what uh, what bits I should light? I'm gonna I'm gonna light the match, and before my hand is burnt, we need to figure out how to represent the number thirty in binary. Okay. One, two, four, eight, sixteen. Okay. Do we need the sixteen bit? Yes. Yes. Do we need the eight bit? Yes. Do we need the candles to light? Yes. Do we need the four bit? Yes. Do we need the two bit? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. yes. Yes. Do we need the one bit? No. Cool, because 30 is an even number. And oh, my hand is unburned. Excellent. So we've got 11110. Happy 11110 birthday. <laughs> okay, Mrs. Eddington, would you like to blow out your candles? I would love to okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mrs. Eddington. Happy birthday to you. Now, now the bad news is, as a teacher, you have to share your birthday cake with the entire class. You do, but don't worry. So this is a this is a problem, right? And computer scientists love problems. How do you share a birthday cake this size? with the entire class and make sure everyone gets some. Divide it. So... I'll tell you what. Oh, that's a good idea. What we're going to do is... <laughs> is using the, oh, the knife yeah. of power. Yeah. That's Mrs. your bit. That's my bit. That's your bit, Mrs. Eddington. So I want you to take half. That is yours. Half. Oh, that's mine. That is your half, Whoa. birthday girl. Whoa. Whoa. Yum. All right. So who else wants half? Yeah, Mrs. Eddington, you can take a seat now. Okay. So, oh, that's great, that's great, because what we can do, no, everyone is going to get some cake, everyone's so all gonna we need get, to do... In fact, everyone's going to get half the cake. Everyone's going to get half the cake. Ah! Half each. <laughs> Alright, so uh, where are we going to start? Start at, start at the seams. Okay, hi. hi. You, can have, you can have half. Yeah? Yeah, half. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, it was pretty random, but it worked out in your favour. <laughs> wow. Eat it, eat it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and don't worry, because then we're just going to go half the cake again, and you can have the other half. <laughs> Yeah, and then we're just going to go half again. Don't worry, the people in the back are going to get plenty of cake. Yeah, you guys are up in the corner are looking pretty hungry. But when it gets to you, it might be pretty small, but that's all right because we can still keep dividing it in half, and you can have seconds. There you go. You can take half. Thank you. And and just do you want do you want all this? Oh yeah, we got a messy guy here. Oh yeah, yum. It's alright, because there's still lots of halves splits, splits to go, so you can take half of that. And you can take... No, you only get half! 
So what Harv is finding out pretty quickly is that uh, when you divide something in half and keep dividing it in half again, it gets smaller really quickly. So that's why, uh, as computer scientists, if we're faced with a tricky problem, we always try and find a way to cut it down into smaller bits. Because if those smaller bits can be cut down into smaller bits, we can... Uh, Make a big problem or a big cake. Easy to solve. <laughs> or annoy an entire audience of guys. <sighs> Notice that much of the time the children are actually working out the answers for themselves. We're not actually trying to teach them how to do these things, we just want to give them the idea that these are concepts that they might be interested in. In fact, sometimes you have to avoid the temptation to lecture them. Well, now we're going to move on to looking at how other kinds of data might be represented.